Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm gonna be doing another review. And this time around, I'm gonna be doing another review, uh, another review for Better Call Saul. So yeah, I know I haven't done one of these reviews in a while. I know I haven't done one of these reviews in a while. Um, and this review is gonna be for Marcos, episode 10, season one, Better Call Saul. So yeah, again, I apologize for not having done these reviews in a while. I did watch the episode um, when it came out. I just didn't have time to do videos for it because I was kind of overwhelmed with testing, studying, you know. Your, your typical high school excuses, um, movies, what whatnot, you know, and channel. So yeah, um, before I begin though, 10 seconds spoiler warning as usual for those who have yet to actually um, watch the episode and haven't already, um, stop the video, go check it out and come back and watch the rest of this review. 10 seconds spoiler warning as usual starting now. Okay, so 10 seconds are up, so for those who have yet to actually watch the episode and haven't already, um, please don't comment down below or be messaging me that I never gave you a fair warning, because as usual, I did. And so as usual, quick synopsis, likes and dislikes, and then the rate. Um, so in this in this case, in this episode, you have Jimmy or Saul, whatever you want to call him, and you have he, he, and basically he goes to visit his friend Marco, um, who, we, who I believe we saw in the beginning of the season for like a quick second as a flashback. Because there's this one scene that looked really familiar, in my opinion. Like, we've seen it before in a previous episode. Um, so I want to say we've seen this character before in a previous episode of this um, show. So, you have, he he's basically goes um, back to one of his child, like, one of his friends, Marco. Um, and basically, there they, they basically, uh, I guess, remember, or, yeah, they try to remember how life was before... Before Saul became a lawyer, before he became all goody two shoes, as Marco wants to put it, uh, then they decide to you know do their practical scam people basically like they used to back in the olden days. They you know you know they decide to scam people, get some money and all that, and basically that's what most that's basically what the episode is. Um, you have Marco and you have this Marco character and you have Saul, and they're just scamming people, having fun. And it's just a memory, um, one of those episodes where you want to feel good for Saul because he's doing something he actually enjoys. I mean, that's not to say that him being a lawyer, he doesn't enjoy that, but you do realize that he has more fun doing this, scamming people, <laughs> and then being a lawyer. Then again, he kind of does scam people being a lawyer at the same time. At the end of the episode, however, um, you realize that Marco is dead. Um, Marco, while the, him and Marco, while they were trying to scam this random person, um, when all of a sudden, um, the plan fails and Marco dies. And Marco, his last words to Saul were basically that th um, this was one of the best times of his life and that he was happy that he died alongside a friend. So it's really rewarding in that case. Um, then you have him going to his funeral. And, and at the end of the episode, you have um, the girl, what's her name again? Um, Kim, you have Kim, sorry, um, who calls him up saying that there may be another potential client or another potential business partner. For the for the case that they're gonna do against the sand, um, Sandy Oats, um, sh um, Shady Oats, Sandy Oats, the retirement home, um, and yeah, so I did think it was a kind of a slow episode. It was slow for the most part. Um, it did they, they have the montage scenes with him with the two of them scamming people, um, and it was kind of fun. It was comedic. It was comedic for the most part, but I think for the most part it was just kind of a slow episode. It was really slow in my opinion. Um, especially for the season final. However, if you compare this to, to season one of Breaking Bad, it is mostly built up to what will happen in the second episode or second season. Sorry, and but um, Breaking Bad was pretty similar in that way. That the first um season was kind of was mostly built up, and then the second season kind of blew up blew out of proportions, and everything kind of went full blast after that. And I think, it says they do have season two confirmed. I think it will be something like that. In season two, everything will go full blast. And it will just be great. Um, so yeah, I was I was a bit disappointed, but when I actually compared to how the other season finale from Breaking Bad was from the first season, I thought it was actually a pretty good, decent um, season finale. Um, again, well acted, well written, the usual, the usual. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, one being the worst, ten being the best, and six being decent, I'd give it a seven out of ten. Pretty good season finale. I do think it could have been better, but it is what it is. 
So yeah, that's basically it for this review. Subscribe if you're, not, if you're not already subscribed. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. Comment down below on your thoughts on Better Call Saul and the season finale. What are your thoughts on it? And what are your thoughts on the season as a whole? I will be doing a review for that pretty soon. Aside from that, that's basically it for now. Subscribe, comment down below, like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off.